Ben Thomas took a summer job as a temp in a bed shop. Then he met the Go Lightly family, who made quite an impression on him. This is the bed shop in Orpington in Kent, and these are perfectly ordinary beds. Well, in fact, they're not, because we designed them to collapse, because we're about to spring a little surprise on the temporary salesmen who are about to come here to work. Here's Ben, about to meet Mr. Parker, our shop manager, and start his summer job. Oh, Ben, Th Ben Thomas. Yeah. Oh, yes. fine. Nice to meet you. Yes. Hello. My name's Parker. Have a seat. I'm glad you've just got here in the. Plonk yourself there, would you? Okay. I just got in in the nick of time. I'm supposed to go out and see the bank manager. Anybody's interested in anything in the store, obviously, it's all for sale. Yeah. But these three don't let don't let these three go because uh, they're end of ranges, and the person paid for them yesterday. It's um, uh, Mr. Webster. His wife paid for them yesterday, and uh, we can't replace them. We've had to search everywhere for them. Just hold the store for me for about, well, I don't know, as long as it takes, but it shouldn't be very long. Okay, okay. fine, thanks right. a lot. Okay, no thanks very problems. much. Cheers, thank you. So, Ben's been left in charge all alone, but not for long. He's about to meet Mr. and Mrs. Go Lightly and their lovely daughter, <laughs> Dainty. <Dave. laughs> This is the one that's advertised with the, the hippo sleep on it, you know. It's supposed to be able to, like, you see me and the missus are fairly big. This is my daughter, Dainty, by the way. What we're trying to find is a, is a bed that can take our weight. Don't try the mattresses yet. Yeah, 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 we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> I've just got here. I don't know how anything about these beds. I've just told these beds were sold. That's you just told me that all these beds are guaranteed. I don't know. And they were hold the hippo. <laughs> I'm ringing as the owner of the beds, and I want to collect them now. The Orpington Bed Centre. Ah, oh, hello, Mr. Parker, please. I'm afraid he's popped out them for the moment. Ah, uh, it's Mr. Webster here. My wife bought three beds yesterday. Yes, I understand that. Mr. Uh, Parker did tell me this, but he's popped out and there is a bit of a problem at the moment. It's <laughs> the problem that you want to wrap them. No, no, no. I'd just, I'd, just, I'd just like to wait till Mr. Parker gets back before I uh, let you come and pick him up. Yes, I know the paper. There's been a bit of a, an accident and there's had some people in and they're trying to make a mistake. You're going to be very terrible. Uh, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just working as a temporary. I've just got here about two minutes ago. Sorry, Marshall. Come round okay, right. Thank you. Well, that was the gentleman who just bought these beds. So. You can't have things and then let well, people look, look, can't you understand? Can I've, got, I've got all them. All the gentleman told me to do was to look after the shop while he's gone out to the bank. Well, that I, makes you responsible then. I know, but it's not. But he's just put me in this situation. I've never worked in a bed shop before. I don't know how these <laughs> beds are going to take the weight of a of a. Of a, of a, of a <laughs> I don't know whether... Oh, Mr. Parker, there's been a, a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. Oh, what a day I'm having. The, the, unless the thing the manager couldn't see me. There's been a problem with these beds, at least. What on earth has happened out? And they haven't, they're not taking them much weight. Tried them out? You, you let these people try them out? Yes, they but just... The, these are sold. These are Mr. Web, Webster's, like isn't they? The gentleman just wanted to try the mattress out or something, and... Uh, and the Mr. Webster just phoned up and he's coming straight around. Take the weight of an elephant. And then he just called me a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, it. 
You said that it would take. The, you said, would it take the weight of a hippo? Yes. So I said yes, assuming it was. A hippo? Assuming it would. Yeah, he I, just I said it'd take, well, the the take the weight of a hippo. Take the weight of a hippo. I think you can promise the man a weight of a hippo on a bit. Well, get behind your desk in case they get violent. <laughs> to my assistant before you started, but what's all this talk of hippopotamus and... Because of the TV ad, the, there's you a hippo on the bed. The rhinoceros. A hip what is <laughs> and then he says to me, it should stand at the weight of a hippo, inferring that... No, 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 I wasn't inferring that. You said, you said, would it take the weight of a hippo? So I said, that was, that was, I was just quoting what you'd said, that's all. The point of it is that they shouldn't have been subjected to the weight. I was going to say sit down, but something else might break. Yes, bend into a sweat as I arrive to collect my beds. I thought these beds were supposed to be able to take the weight of a sea lion. What's going on? <laughs> Whose fault is this? This young man. The man. Yeah. Which young man? But he, he gave me permission to sit on the bed and it just collapsed. Why did you do that? I had sold on them. <laughs> I think he's getting suspicious. <laughs> well, I think my assistant's son. Responsible. <laughs> I'm certainly not paid for the beds. What? No, Did you say your name was Mr. Webster? Oh, I knew it was you. <laughs>